Scorpions are among the more frightening pests for any homeowner to deal with. Nobody wants to come face to face, or sometimes stinger to foot with a rogue scorpion that's wandered its way inside. There are about 90 species of scorpion found in the US, with two being lethal to humans. So in this video, we'll show you how to look for and eliminate scorpions from your property so you won't have to worry about their venomous stings. You can save on pest control with DIY products and do it fast with free same-day shipping from Solutions Pest and Lawn. To buy the products featured in this video or to learn more about scorpions, click the icon in the top right of the screen or click the link in the description below. The first thing you should do in any pest control plan is identify what exactly you're dealing with. Careless identification can lead to wrong treatment methods, costing you time and money. Scorpions are arachnids with eight legs, two pincers, and a long tail with a stinger on the end. Despite their popular association with the desert and dry environments, scorpions are actually very widespread throughout the United States. Only in some southwestern states like Arizona, New Mexico, or California can you find particularly lethal scorpions. Though keep in mind that all scorpion stings are venomous and painful. Depending on the species, scorpions can live as long as 15 years old. It takes most species 1 to 6 years to reach maturity. Mature scorpions can range from half an inch to 7 and a quarter inches in length. Many scorpions that are able to invade homes, however, are only going to be as big as two and a half inches. Inspection is the next phase of any good pest control plan. Once you know what your pests look like, check around your property to confirm their presence or find hotspots of activity. Before inspecting your property for scorpions, take the proper precautions to protect yourself from stings. This includes wearing thick gloves, long pants, and boots. You'll first want to check around outside on your property for any signs of scorpions. Scorpions are nocturnal creatures, so you'll most likely find them hiding during the day. Check in your bushes and ornamental shrubbery, among mulch, around firewood, within cracks and crevices, and underneath anything else on the ground that can provide a scorpion with cover. Also, look for any entry points scorpions can use to enter your structure. This can include utility penetrations into the wall or improperly closed doors and windows. One thing to keep in mind is that scorpions cannot climb smooth surfaces, so they'll typically invade at ground level unless they're given access to higher ground via garden overgrowth or overhanging branches. Indoors, you'll want to check locations that can provide food and water to many small pests. Be sure to check underneath the appliances in your kitchen, behind clutter in the garage, underneath sinks, in laundry, on curtains, and especially within any shoes laying on the floor. If you're conducting your search at night, you may also want to use a blacklight for assistance. All scorpions have a layer of hyaline in their exoskeleton, causing them to produce a bright green glow. Take note of where you may find any scorpions, as this will direct your treatment. After identifying your pest and inspecting for activity on your property, it's time to start treatment. Before starting any treatment, be sure to wear your personal protective equipment or PPE, and remember to keep all people and pets off the treated areas until they run dry. It's essential to conduct chemical control for scorpions, however, keep in mind that scorpions have particularly tough carapaces thanks to their thick cuticle in the exoskeleton. Even when products are applied at their labeled rates, scorpions may or may not be affected. Regardless, you still must apply treatment at the correct labeled rate for total control of your scorpion infestation. To protect your structure against scorpions, you'll need to apply a barrier application and treat your ornamentals with a liquid insecticide like Reclaim IT. Reclaim IT is a bifenthrin-based insecticide that's labeled to control over 70 different pests. As a barrier application, you'll mix this product at a rate of 0.33 to one whole fluid ounce of product per gallon of spray solution. When you're ready to spray ornamentals, mix a new dilution of Reclaim IT at a rate of 0.25 to 0.5 fluid ounces of product per gallon of spray solution. We recommend you use a handheld pump sprayer to make mixing and application quick and easy. First, you'll want to conduct a perimeter treatment around your home and spray any entry points you may have found outside your structure. Start at one point along your wall, then proceed to spray 3 feet up and 3 feet out. Gradually move around your structure as you spray until you've completed the entire perimeter. When you're done, proceed to treat your ornamentals around your yard. Once you've completed spraying, you'll need to treat cracks, crevices, and any tight entryways you've found with a dry product like Defense Dust. Defense Dust is a dry, water-resistant dust that can be applied to voids, cracks, and crevices to stop many pests from invading structures for up to 8 months. To use Defense Dust, you'll need a handheld duster with a long, narrow spout to treat tight cracks and crevices. Fill the duster about halfway with dust and leave plenty of room for air circulation. Hold the duster with the cavity toward the bottom, shake, and squeeze the duster to apply the product. For scorpions, you can apply defense dust at a rate of 1 to 2 grams per 1,000 square feet. 
Puff the dust into any voids, cracks, and crevices where you suspect scorpions may be hiding. The dust will work to break down the exoskeletons of any labeled pests it comes in contact with, killing them. Prevention is essential to keeping pests in check. Even after you've applied pesticides, the best way to stop pest activity is to make sure it can't happen. Since chemical treatment of scorpions can be unpredictable, prevention is even more essential in gaining control of your infestation. Your first step to preventing future scorpion invasions is to clean your property inside and outside your structure. This will reduce the available food, water, and shelter that scorpions will look for. First, clean outdoors by raking and picking up leaf piles, bricks, firewood, and other yard debris to reduce the number of hiding spots scorpions have access to. Trim back any overgrowth and overhanging tree branches to prevent scorpions from reaching higher areas on your structure. Finally, seal off any small voids, cracks, and crevices you may have found with copper mesh and caulk. You also need to repair damaged door and window screens or install weather stripping. Indoors, address any moisture issues you may be having. This includes repairing your AC or repairing any leaky pipes underneath sinks. Wipe down your kitchen countertops with water to get rid of any crumbs or food residue. Clean up clutter in your garage. If you're the type to leave clothes on the floor, you may want to start hanging them or otherwise storing unwashed laundry in a sealable bin. To prevent any surprise scorpions in shoes, keep your footwear elevated off the ground with a rack set several inches away from the wall. Remember that scorpions cannot climb up smooth surfaces, but if there's any texture, then they'll be able to climb. A scorpion is a frightening pest to encounter, but there are ways to control a pest invasion that's gone out of hand. With these professional products and tips from Solutions Pest and Lawn, you can stop scorpions from invading your home, and we offer same-day shipping to help you get control quickly. Visit our website to get your products today. If you like this how-to guide, please share. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe for more how-to and product videos, and contact us for more tips, tricks, and DIY pest solutions.